In this video, I'll introduce you to Rookout. Rookout is a production-grade, real-time debugging and data collection platform, which allows you to collect snapshots of data from your application on demand from any environment with just a few clicks. In this demo, we'll use a simple to-do application where Rookout has already been deployed, which allows you to add items or delete them from a list. The application is written in Java, and it's currently running on Kubernetes and Google Cloud. Let's take a look at how to debug this application so that we can get to the bottom of issues faster. First, we set one or more filters to drill in on the specific server or microservice instances that we'd like to debug. Then clicking Let's Go brings us into the debugging view. You'll notice the Rookout interface is designed to be similar to an IDE, although it's not an actual replacement for your current development environment. The next step is to connect to your source code repository. You can connect to a Git provider or use a locally cloned repo. Keep in mind that your source code is never sent to or able to be seen by Rookout. Now let's say you want to collect data from the part of your code that's responsible for adding to-do tasks, the add to-do function. We can click on a line to set a non-breaking breakpoint, the point where we'd like to collect a snapshot of data. The breakpoint allows you to collect data about the state of your application without ever stopping it or affecting its performance. Now when we switch back to our application and add a to-do task, the data will be collected and appear immediately in our message view. Clicking on the message, we can see all of the local variables and their values, the server and process information, the entire stack leading to line 45 where we set our breakpoint, as well as the ability to debug code up the stack, including third-party components, and even automatically gather tracing information from the running application. Each breakpoint has additional advanced configuration that you can edit in order to configure things like conditions and time to live. You can decide which variables to collect, configure the collection depth, as well as whether or not to include the stack trace or tracing information. You can also include additional external targets where you'd like to send the data. One of Rookout's main use cases is logging and alerting. Let's assume we want to send the data to another destination such as Slack. We apply a custom log message that we'd like to send and change the target to Slack. Now when we configure the breakpoint, we'll see the alert and message data in our monitoring Slack channel. It's possible to send the data to any other destination which supports an API call. Just enter the targets page and add or configure additional targets, such as Elasticsearch, Logs.io, Datadog, Prometheus, and many more. And if you have sensitive data in your environment, simply apply data redaction rules to redact those fields before they're viewable in Rookout or sent to a third-party system. Note that at no point did we restart, redeploy, or write additional code for the application. Want to know more? Check out our docs or chat with us at rookout.com.